right, the trading bell is right here at East Africa Cables, one of the subsidiaries of Transcentury Group. I'm here to speak to the group chairman, Shaka Karyoki, to help us understand what's the next thing for all the subsidiaries after their rights issue. Was it successful? And much more, right after his profile. Mr. Shaka Karyoki is the group chairman of Transcentury PLC. He's the co-CEO of Kuramo Capital Management and vice chairman of Gen Africa Platcorp Holdings and Sterling Capital Limited, all in Kenya. Recently, Shaka was appointed by His Excellency the President of Kenya as the chairman of the Competition Authority of Kenya. He sits on the boards of directors at BYU Marriott School of Management in the United States of America, Leon Business Solution in Zimbabwe, Sefo in South Africa, and Maku Holdings LLC, an affiliate of Plantations at Hulerus de Congo, the largest agribusiness company in DRC. Shaka holds a BS in economics, an MBA with an emphasis in finance from Biham Young University, and a master's in government from Harvard University. He's a member of the CFA Institute. We have a very diversified customer base, mm -hmm. uh, not only in Kenya but also in uh, East Africa in, uh, in general. Yeah. So let's talk now about yes. the production capacity of this plant. You know, let, let me just take a, a brief detour. Yeah. You know, East African Cables was yeah. actually started in 1966. So it's an 19... old company. Wow. Uh, it goes back uh, quite a bit of quite a number of years. So so as Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> It's older than me for sure. Yes. You know. And then in addition to that, actually for Trans Century, yeah. we actually purchased East African cables back in 2004. Mm. Back in 2004, mm -hmm. uh, now coming back to your question, yeah. we had uh, you know, a capacity of about 150 metric tons per month. Okay. Since then, mm -hmm. we've actually increased that capacity mm -hmm. to over 750 metric tons per month. 750? So, 750. Metric so wow. one of the largest capacities mm -hmm. in East Africa. Mm -hmm. So well, that's why, you know, uh, and I've said in the past mm -hmm. that it is such a, a, a fantastic company. Yeah. Uh, we have the capacity. Yeah. And uh, now as a result of uh, the conclusion of the rights issue, yeah. uh, hopefully we unlock the working capital okay. and this business will perform very well okay. going forward. Where do you supply all this? We supply them uh, across the East African market. Yeah. Uh, here in Kenya, yeah. well, this is a very well-known brand. Mm -hmm. So most of our cables are used. So, for example, many of the buildings, for mm -hmm. example, in the construction industry, yeah, we supply our cables there. Okay. Uh, in many of uh, you know, anything to do cables. Okay. And majority of the industry, mm -hmm. majority of the industry, uh -huh. actually, or for the most part, they have to be cables. Yes. So most of these cables we are selling them to many of these uh, companies uh, okay. in this market and also across. The Okay. Okay. Shaka Karaoke, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's good to have you back. Uh, that was about four months, five months back now. That's right. When you so. offered the rice issue. And my first question to you is just the overview of how it went out and the reception you received from the people you were asking some money from. Well, thank you very much. We actually had a very successful right issue. Wow. And uh, thank you for this uh, follow-up conversation. Yes. Maybe I should start off by saying how grateful I am to the shareholders yeah. that actually came through. Mm -hmm. The reality is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we were going through a tough, we've actually been experiencing a tough economic environment. Yeah. Uh, not only here in Kenya, but globally. Mm -hmm. So the fact that the shareholders mm -hmm. of Transcentury were willing to come through just shows the confidence yeah. that they have in the company the TC story going forward. Okay. So I'm uh, very grateful 
and express uh, sincere appreciation to yeah. our shareholders yeah. who ultimately are our boss yeah. uh, for coming through and the, uh, participating in the rights issue yeah. to recapturize the business. That's very uh, encouraging from the shareholders and the key question to you is what does it mean now for the business and the shareholders? What it means uh, for the business is that now going forward, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be able to focus on the Ahidi strategy, mm -hmm. uh, which we have uh, for the business now going through 2025. Mm -hmm. It also means that we are now in a position to recapture the business, mm -hmm. uh, one, mm -hmm. and uh, number two, mm -hmm. to be able to unlock working capital yeah. for some of our subsidiaries. Okay. Yes. Excellent. All right. Let's talk about now the funds and the allocations, mm -hmm. definitely, because you sit at a seat where you have several subsidiaries, like the one we're seated right here. So yes. my key question to you is, when it comes to allocation of the funds from the transaction, what are you looking at? Which underlying businesses are we looking to support further and improve their performance? Okay. There are two main uh, reasons why we went to do the rights issue. Yeah. One was uh, to uh, reduce some of the debt, mm -hmm. and two was to unlock working capital for the subsidiaries. So going forward, mm -hmm. I think uh, we'll be able to we, be, we should be able to accomplish both. Mm -hmm. uh, many of our subsidiaries, be it East African Cables, uh, we are working on a solution there for working capital. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the others, AEA, mm -hmm. and even uh, Tanarek for that matter, will be able now to be, uh, will be in a position to help them uh, be able to access working capital going forward. Okay. Yes. Your nature of business as chair, calls and, and, and I love the fact that you are having shareholders and you're thanking them for what they're doing, calls for you to really be innovative on the go um, when challenges come by, when finances is needed and the like. So my question to you is this, you give a rights issue, you're closed and you're happy with what you've got. Are we looking at you in the near future as well, giving more rights issues uh, for shareholders to keep, uh, you know, growing their wealth through your businesses? From what we raised, yeah. uh, we should, uh, as a business, yeah. we should be able to execute on the strategy that we have in place. Okay. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Let's get now to part of your subsidiaries, and I'm keen to ask about the Tanzanian one, okay. Tanelec, and uh, you know it's doing well from uh, what you had mentioned earlier and has become a leading light in the TC uh, stable. So my key question is this, what has been the drivers of this particular growth and how does the group plan to you know, replicate this particular success across these other subsidiaries? Okay, thank you for the question. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have majority of our subsidiaries, of our businesses in the under the Transcentury platform mm -hmm. are actually doing relatively well. Okay. Now that you mentioned Tanarek, Tanarek is also a good example. Mm -hmm. uh, Tanarek over the last three years, for example, has been very profitable. As a matter of fact, revenue has grown three times mm -hmm. over the last three years. Yeah. Uh, the company, as I said, is also profitable. Mm -hmm. uh, the company, as a matter of fact, even pays dividends. Yeah. You know, so the company has done extremely well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the largest uh, manufacturer of transformers in East Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also have a, a very well diversified customer base. Okay. Uh, for example, we sell our cables all the way to Mo Mozambique. I believe we even sell them in uh, Ethiopia and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's diversified in that regard. And then in addition to that, we actually also started or opened an assembly plant here in Nairobi, mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya as well. Yeah. So, so to be servicing some of our clients here, be it uh, oh. Kenya Power, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So the company from a revenue base, it's also diversified. Mm -hmm. From a regional standpoint, mm -hmm. it's extremely well diversified. Yeah. And as I've mentioned, mm -hmm. it's uh, grown three times yeah. revenue-wise mm -hmm. over the last uh, three years. Yeah. So it's a business that's very well positioned going forward. Now, how did we get to that position? How did we get it there? You know, yes, I think I've mentioned in the past, you go through governance, you know, make sure that we have solid governance, both, and when I talk about governance, I'm talking about the board level, mm -hmm. and also from a management standpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, ensuring that you have a strategy that can be executed on, mm -hmm. you know, and then number three, ensuring that you, uh, you have an order book that can also be uh, uh, executed on as well. Mm -hmm. And then finally, making sure that you have the necessary working capital to be able to turn around that business, which is the fundraise, you know. So as we've gone through those, those various steps, the four steps with the Tanarek, mm -hmm. it's been a successful story, 
you know so even with the other businesses it's the same thing so when, when I talk about uh, uh, turning around Transcentury yes there's a we are not talking about just Transcentury as a group we are talking about going to each of the individual businesses and taking them one at a time and actually going through the process and turning it around so what we've done with Tanarek uh, can be replicated across the whole group. And as a matter of fact, that's a process that's uh, already taking place and has been taking place for a number of years across the, the various subsidiaries. Okay. And we certainly wish you well with all that to see them skyrocket to the levels that all shareholders would want and as US chairs well in the leadership. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Let's talk about now your role in innovation. We are living in a very interesting time where innovation is very key in all corporates and companies and so what's your place of innovation at TC at Transcentury in the next phase?